Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are at the University of Gulf in Canada in search of masters and PhD opportunities. So we need to make haste because um, some courses are about to um, close the application windows. For some other courses, they have a rolling deadline and some others are already closed. So let us take advantage of the ones that are still open and try to apply as soon as possible. So funding is also guaranteed for those who get into master's and PhD programs in this university for most of the courses as well. So um, there's also IELTS waivers, English proficiency waivers. So without any further delay, let's dig into this opportunity at the University of Gulf in Canada. Let's begin. So this is the graduate study funding page. And it talks about a number of assistantships, either graduate teaching assistantships, research assistantships, service assistantships, awards and scholarships. And the other info here you can read on your own. But most of these assistantships are awarded by the departments, the different departments. So we'll be looking at the different departments here together. So this is the list of departments from the letter A with accounting down to veterinary science. Um, the piece of info I would like to share before we continue is that different departments have different deadlines. And for some departments, the deadline have actually elapsed. And for others, they have rolling deadlines. So they accept as much as they can. For instance, chemistry department has an ongoing deadline, no specific dates. Um, this is computer science, has a deadline on the 1st of June, as in October, as in February. For a course like um, political science, I think I checked earlier, I checked political science earlier, and I found out that the deadline, unfortunately, has elapsed already for political science when I checked January 18th, 2022. So check for your different courses and see, hopefully your particular course, the course you're interested in is still open for applications. So let's take chemistry for instance, how do I apply and what, what are the funding package like? So if you're interested in this chemistry course at the University of Gulf, you can just click on the um, brochure as you can see here, I've opened a copy here already, and it gives you a quick information about the course, about the subfields, as you can see them here. The admissions requirements for MSc, you need 75% of your bachelor's degree, and for your PhD, it's also written there what you need. And then um, for funding opportunities, you can see here funding that financial support is guaranteed for every graduate student that we accept, except for MSc course based program and fully funded um, um, students. This simply means that if you want funding in this department, you have to do like a research based um course and a research-based course means you have to work with a supervisor in the first place and you might ask how do i find a different supervisor in this department since much is not written here so you simply go back to this page of chemistry then go to the chemistry department for instance open and go to the chemistry department and find out um what is happening there the different professors this is the chemistry department page if we go to the faculty page, we can also go to the courses, different programs they have, the graduate course, the master's, PhD courses, you get more information as we've seen in the previous page. So you remember you're going by thesis and not a course based. So you can read more information about what the thesis based um, courses involves and how you can get a supervisor. So to find a supervisor, it's good to just go to the faculties, check what they are doing and check whose interests best align with yours and send them what they call the cold mail um, demonstrating your interest in their research and telling them how you want to become a graduate student and study with them and um, 
possibly funding opportunities. If you do not know how to write a letter to a professor, there is a video on my YouTube channel. This is it. You can just type my name and type email to prof. And the video would emerge to show you how to email professors. So this is the famous video on how to contact professors for postgraduate deprivation and opportunities. So that video covers a format, step-by-step -step format on how to um, contact professors for research opportunities, for funding opportunities to work with them. So let that is chemistry department, by the way. This chemistry department has an ongoing deadline. The deadline wasn't stated, so it's good to apply as soon as you can. And um, this is a um, mathematics department. And this has a slightly different framework. A deadline in June, October, February, as you can see. Um, I have also opened the book show that gives a quick um, preview of what we need to provide and other kinds of um, information. But to get the full gist, we'll go back to the website and open the department website for computer science. And that is what I did here. And then you can read the full information of what you need to supply, what you need to provide, and um, how to also find supervisors. How to find supervisors for thesis is also written here. And of course, the admissions requirements, things like your CV, academic transcript, statement of purpose and what should be contained in them, academic references, and now the English test. So a number of people ask me, do I need to submit an English test or not? My answer is always check with the university, ask the university. I am not in the admissions committee of any university, so I can just give you my opinion or just keep quiet because I do not know because there are kind of university and department variations. So the best thing is to look at the university website or even send them an email to clarify. So here they say something about the IS and the TOEFL and the rest of them. But there's also a section here where they mention something about waivers. Especially if you've studied full time for two years in a country where English is a native language and in a university where English is the language of instruction. So there are more info here on how you can prove your English proficiency. So check for your course and see how to navigate this issue if you do not have an English proficiency test. And as I said, most departments give um, PhD MSc students funding when they get in, in this university. So try as much as possible to find a supervisor and um, get in and we cannot wait to celebrate you. So you can always go to the faculty page, check the areas of specialization and start sending them emails as soon as you can. And as I said, to find the email format, go straight to my channel, type my channel name, that's my name, and type, type email prof. And then you get this video on how to send um, an email to professors. And that's it, guys. Opportunities at the University of Guild. Before we go, I think I have another opportunity at this university as well. So this is still another opportunity connected to this university. And it's for those interested in food technology. So if you're into food technology, you may want to consider this program, this RL Graduate Scholarship. And the deadline here is the 21st of um, February. So you can read more about it. I think it's a fully funded scholarship at this university for PhD students and for master's students as well. So a large amount of money has been put forward here. This is 50,000 Canadian dollars to support either a PhD student or master student interested in food technology in this particular institute affiliated still to this um, Gulf University. So if this is your area of specialization, we are congratulating you in advance. Take advantage of this opportunity. Read closely the applications requirements and apply as soon as you can. And that's it, guys. 
take advantage of these numerous opportunities. We are here cheering for you. We cannot wait to celebrate you. Get to work, but bye-bye for now.